Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be doing a lesson that I've done quite a few times and people seem to enjoy it quite a lot, so I thought you might enjoy it too. I am going to be using oil pastels and we're going to be doing a portrait in a natural colour and I'm taking inspiration in different art movements such as pop art, fauvism and also a little bit on Picasso. So this is um, it's quite a funky way to express yourself and learn how to use this wonderful material as well um, that it's absolutely amazing for beginners. So when I started painting, when I, when I was little, I used to use loads of um, oil pastels and they're very, very forgiving and it's also a very good idea to um, way to get your hands into painting and um, using a dry material rather than paint. Okay, so what I've done today is that I've chosen some colored paper because colored paper is really, really good for pastels and particularly if you're going to be using a natural and very colorful um, colors. So I've got a pink paper and I've done a very rough line drawing to get started with. Uh, I have drawn from my imagination. You can also draw from your imagination and if you prefer to have more realistic results, you can have a look at one of my previous um, videos on how to draw using a grid system and you can just choose an image of your liking and grid it and then color it in. And what you can also do is that you could work using a mirror and yourself as the model, okay? So <clears throat> all pastels work from light to dark. So once you have established your line drawing, it's better to do your line drawing on kind of a neutral color that you can easily cover up. So you don't want anything too strong at the beginning. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to look at where the light source is and I'm going to start drawing some few shapes. Of light. Into silence my phone. <laughs> so I'm just drawing some shapes of where the light is going to be. And it's just literally um, a little bit of rough shapes. Yeah. So once I've done the shapes, I'm going to quickly block them in with white. Just thought it would be a good video to do today because it's raining and what better for a rainy day than using a little bit of color. It usually cheers me up. So I hope it cheers you up as well. So the important thing as well when you're doing an oil pastel or any kind of painting is to realize that it's not going to look good until the end. So if you're starting to draw having an expectation of what you would like it to look like, more than likely it's not going to turn out quite good. So. As you can see at the beginning, it's a mess. Nothing looks good about it. So if you're at home and you're making it a bit of a mess, rest assured, everything is okay. So at the moment, because I've got this pink paper, I kind of got like a medium tone established just by the pink. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm gonna grab a dull color um, that is a little bit darker and start establishing where the darks are going to be. And I have done this portrait as a smile because I've had a request from a lovely lady called Alina that she saw the portrait video and she asked to um, do a smiling face. And the reason why I don't normally do too many smiling faces is that smiling faces are a little bit hard. Yeah, so if you want to get a smile, what I suggest is curl the lip upwards and also you need to get the under the cheek to have this little mark where basically 
um, you get the expression of the smile. So you basically need that and you need that and you need that little lip curl, yeah? So your cheek is gonna change. Also, I tend to do the eyes a little bit smaller. Yeah, so a little bit more closed up because we close our eyes a little bit when we smile. So I've got that more or less established. I'm gonna put a little bit more that there, a little bit more dark to define the hollows of the eyes. So I've got that. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave my darks and I'm gonna come back to my light tones. And on top of the white, I'm going to surround it. As you can see, I've broken down my old pastel and I'm working with it sideways so that I can have more coverage more quickly. I'm slightly going over the white and the reason being is that I want to start blending my light into, my highlight into a light yeah and also i'm kind of like establishing a base color with this yellow and i can do it quite softly so that i can have a color that is mixed with the pink and the yellow and i can also do it quite hard to have more coverage and that's very different to that so i'm using different techniques if i put it on top of the green as well to blend i can have a nice blend in there So I'm putting this yellow more or less everywhere as a base color that I'm going to be working from. Okay. So once I've got that, I'm gonna get a little bit crazy and bring a little bit of blue. So blue and pink are a really, really good color combination. And I'm using this blue as a kind of dark, although it's not very dark but it's darker than the yellow and the other colors that I've used. Just to bring a little bit of definition. I'm still working quite rough. I am not committing to anything much still. Just putting the blue as some parts where the darks would be, yeah? So I'm also going to do it on the inside of the ear. Remember to look out on the previous handouts, guys, for um, the proportions and faces. They're all on the Google Drive, so you can look them up there. I'm also going to go a little bit over the hair, establish a few planes. Okay, so I've got that so far, yeah? Oh, forgot the neck. A bit of yellow on the neck. Great. Um, once I've got that, I... Oh, um, we've got that there, that there, that there. I'm going to bring a little bit of this green. Now, I'm using whatever colours um, I think go well together, but you can make your own decisions in what colours you think that they go well together because of course color is quite a subjective thing what I think looks good is not the same as what you think looks good so just choose your own judgment on that yeah and um, as you can tell or I don't know if you have realized I've got quite a balance of warm and colors and I'm also trying to get a balance between bright and dull colors so I'm using quite a lot of this green and I'm using quite a little bit of this kind of like ochreish yellow and the reason being is that you kind of need those dull colors in order to make the brights brighter and I'm planning on making this very very bright so if you want something to be super mega bright you need to be able to balance it out I'm just gonna get a little bit of this soft pink just to blend that in a little bit yeah so I'm, I need a bit of definition now because I need to see where I'm going so I'm gonna bring a little bit of black
not too much, but just enough to give me a bit of guidance. Black is great for bringing definition when you're using a natural color especially, um, but it's better not to overdo it. This is my Farlina. So see there, that's a smiling bit. And I'm also going to do it there. So I've got a bit more, my drawing is, is coming out a little bit more, so I, I can see better what's happening. So... I'm just gonna continue now adding loads of colors. So you can see that what's really changing is um, the amount of pressure I'm using on the material. be careful when you go next to the black as well because it will make your colors dirty yeah And also mix quite a few colors and then use a lighter color to blend. Yeah, can you see a blended effect there? Of changes mal there. There we go. Putting a bit of what was that I was using before that green. So I'm just getting that green in because I've got quite a bit of red and it's just to balance to balance it out, yeah. And I need a bit more dullness. balance on my brides Okay. 
So for the eyes, always try to get a speckle of white. That's a light reflection. Yeah, that always looks great. And I'm just going to bring a tiny bit of definition, but not overdo it with the black because it can really ruin it if you if you do it too much. So less is more, and at the same time, you don't need everything to be absolutely completed. You know, the viewer can make up or you're leaving things out. So I'm going to leave some of the pink to define some of the areas. The pink that is natural from the paper. Oh, that's the worst enemy. So yeah, if your color is a bit dirty, you will do that. So you have to watch out. You can always scrape it a little bit to get a mistake out. Just try not to blend it in too much and then you might be able to get away with it. Okay, I'm going to leave the face alone for a little while. And start dealing with the hair. So because I've got loads and loads and loads of pink, I'm just gonna do the hair in blue because pink and blue contrast really well. And I'm just gonna define a little bit in terms of planes and direction. I'm gonna make some with quite a lot of pressure where I would have the darks. such an amazing material for expressing yourself because you can really have a go at going pretty hard so I think in these lockdown days where there's quite a bit of frustration of being indoors and um, it's a great material to use to just express yourself they're actually as well pretty cheap Um, I buy these ones at a shop that's called great art and they sell them they have different ranges, they have like student ranges and professional ones, but the student ones that are these um, Jackson, they're German, um, they're very very cheap and you can get a box with quite a few colours. For not much money. And they're called oil pastels. It's different to chalk pastels. They do very, very different things. So now that I've more or less got some darkish and mids, and my plane's defined, I'm gonna start bringing in some light. Notice how the areas that I don't want to go into detail because it doesn't look great if everything is absolutely detailed. I think it's good to have a balance between what you're defining and what you're leaving the viewer to make up. So I'm just using it rougher. And I'm going to bring a little bit of orange here to complement and bring a bit more shock. Oh, 
again. I have this tendency to forget about ears. Bring a little bit of light in the ear lobe. And just suggest a little bit of ear without giving it too much detail. looking a little bit like a Disney character, isn't she? <laughs> okay, let's have a look at, I'm just gonna review it by seeing what's working, what's not working, a quick stop and catch up. We're gonna bring a little bit more light. I'm gonna try to get a corner of my white that is a little bit cleaner do a few highlights at the end okay and I'm gonna leave it here because I'm starting to overwork it and when you overwork things you end up ruining them so I'm just gonna leave her here so I hope you've enjoyed this video and this demonstration on how to use oil pastels and I'll be seeing you very very soon. Take good care. Bye bye.